And Anne Barker joins us now from the Fair Work Commission in Sydney. And where is the hearing up to this evening? Catherine, this hearing has been going for two hours now and in fact there's been very little progress made. When it first began the media was asked to leave for about 40 minutes and uh, in that time apparently the two sides were asked whether they could come to an agreement without an order being made. That clearly wasn't the case. When we went back in, uh, the maritime union lawyers immediately asked for an adjournment until Friday on the grounds that there's been supplementary material lodged by the other side since last Friday's uh, interim order uh, in the form of statements from many employees who've been sacked in Brisbane and Sydney. Uh, now they say that that's ten times the amount of material they had to look at before and they need several days to look at that. Uh, lawyers for Hutchison Ports uh, on the contrary are saying that this is an urgent matter and they want the Commission to deal with it as soon as possible. They're saying of course there's significant industrial action happening at the port and that uh, there's no work being done there. It's obviously disrupting ships from unloading and there's no sign that that will change even though there was an order last Friday for all workers to go back to work. Uh, they also, Hutchison Ports also wants the Commission to amend that original order from last Friday to include the Maritime Union itself in, a, in the, to, to be bound by that order, presumably on the grounds that they claim the Union is dictating this uh, industrial dispute, even though the Union denied that today and said that it's up to the workers to decide when and if they go back to work. Uh, and so even since that uh, original adjournment, there's been a couple of shorter adjournments uh, to discuss whether the, the Commission has the power to amend that uh, interim order. Uh, so we won't know possibly until later tonight and it's possible that it will in fact be adjourned until later this week. So Anne, is it your understanding that the workers uh, intend to keep defying that order given by the Fair Work Commission on Friday to go back to work? Well that's the concern of Hutchison Ports obviously and that has been the indication from the workers themselves that they will maintain their picket lines in Sydney and Brisbane until this matter is resolved. They want uh, a greater say over who is made redundant, if anybody, and they're, they're arguing that they want the Commission to rule in their favour. If this matter is, is adjourned until Friday, it's hard to see, even with another interim order, uh, anything changing on those two ports in Sydney and Brisbane. Anne Barker reporting from Sydney. Thanks for the update.